do calories matter on a keto diet? Well, it would be fun to make a stand and say hard yes or hard no about this, but I think that it it really depends. I'm going to lean towards no, but there's a lot of situations some, where yes. There's qualifiers do, we need right. to put on the answer no. Right. You you can't be sedentary, meaning you don't work out, you're not active, eat 5,000 calories a day on keto, and expect to lose a whole bunch of weight. So calories do matter in some regards. If you are extremely active, if you're an athlete, and you're out there two, three hours a day um, working out, and you eat 5,000 calories a day on keto, probably doesn't matter to you. In fact, you could be low, right? So it really depends on your level of activity, um, your physiology, a lot of things. I find that I don't have to pay attention to calories. I can't eat all that much. Like, I can't out-eat my stomach, right? Right. If you sit down and you're going to have, let's say, an omelet with some cheese and meat in it, maybe some salsa on top. Yeah. Like you can't eat six of those. Right. That, you Half the time, you can't even get through a four-egg omelet. Right. There's 60 to 70 calories in a standard large egg. Like, how could you ever eat a dozen eggs, right? That just sounds very unappealing to me. That's, you know, 800, 900 calories of eggs, but a 12-egg omelet sounds ridiculous, right? So it's really hard to eat too many calories on this diet because it's so satiating because of all the fat. Yes, but, the higher fat content makes it more satisfying. So it's it is difficult to overeat on keto for some people. But a lot of times in the beginning of a keto journey, where people are so used, I remember this happening to us, you're so used to eating carbs and carbs just don't satisfy in the same way that real food does. And I'm, I'm using carbs lo loosely. I'm using carbs, standard American diet carbs. Right. It, okay, so I'm talking about processed processed foods. You can eat a box of Ho-Hos. I mean, I watched one of our teenagers do it the other day. You can eat, eat a box of Ho-Hos and still be hungry 20 minutes later. Yeah. There's just not the same signaling from it's different. Uh, carbohydrates. So uh, ghrelin, peptide YY, like these, these signaling hormones just don't react the same way with a high carbohydrate diet. So we do find that a lot of people will eat too few calories, which is probably not what people are asking when they ask this question. But I think when you first start with keto and you don't understand, like they don't know what we know now right? about the satiating. I mean, when I first started, I thought, well, I can't snack. People were saying I wasn't supposed to snack between meals and I didn't understand how I would survive between meals without snacks. And so when people are just starting, I, I, when I tell people to start keto, I don't encourage a calorie deficit because my first 30 days of keto, I had a very minimal calorie deficit. I did not plan a calorie deficit and I lost 10 pounds in the first month. Now, does that guarantee the same thing's going to happen for you? No. But my point is losing weight was tough for me until I went keto and I kept my weight, like my calorie, caloric intake at maintenance. So... There's a number of reasons that happens. One is that you're, all of a sudden your body's producing these ketones, doesn't really know how to use them, and so a lot of them come out in your urine. Right. And there are calories in a ketone body. So you're literally peeing out calories. Now that's temporary. When, once your body figures out how to heck to use this fuel source, that stops happening. Yeah. But there's also other reasons for weight loss in the first week, and that's water weight is coming off of you. Um, but to answer the question, do calories matter? It's, it's complicated. No. Um, you know, there's a lot of experts out there that are saying no. But the other piece that goes into it is if we are awake, let's say we're awake, what, 16 hours a day okay. and sleeping eight. Okay. If we're eating every hour for 16 hours, that's not good for our body because it's constantly pushing our body into a digestive state. Right. And it's not allowing detoxification processes to happen. But I was that kind of a person. I was kind of a grazer. So 
you have to, that's where intermittent fasting can be really powerful. So intermittent fasting, for those of you who aren't sure what that is, is just, you know, you're going to pick maybe a 10 hour window during your day to eat and the rest of the time you're not going to eat. So that might mean, and for some people that's a 12 hour window. So to make the math super easy, we'll do 12 hours. So let's say you had, you're eating dinner right now and at seven o'clock you're done eating. Well, all a 12 hour intermittent fast means is you're not going to eat till 7 a.m. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So things like that can help um, just give your body more time for detoxification, um, which, you know, just it naturally keeps your calories a little bit lower if you are limiting the window or the amount of time that you're eating during the day. Yeah. So for someone, someone who is trying to gain weight on keto, they might, they might play with that window. Yeah. Maybe do like an eight hour window and then a 12 hour window with three meals and then come back. And a lot of the, the do calories matter is seco, right? Calories in, calories out. People assume that it's a zero sum game, but the body is not a closed ecosystem, right? Mm -hmm. So and calories from glucose and calories from fat don't act the same in the body. So you can't say one calorie is one calorie is one calorie. It <laughs> just, it just isn't that way. So right. people who tell you that a calorie is just a calorie don't know what they're talking about <laughs> because a glucose calorie and a protein calorie are, are wildly different. Food acts differently in the body. So, and, but, you, and, and then you can get into the whole discussion around processed food, how processed is the food. Right. You know, if you're eating um, a, a packaged keto bar from SlimFast or something like that, yeah. well, if you're going to eat 20 of those in a day, those, those calories really aren't healthy calories. So move towards whole foods. So we're talking eggs, cheese, um, mm -hmm. you know, a big old ribeye, you know, healthier whole food options and away from the processed packaged things.